Good Thursday, TM WRTV Storm Team Meteorologist Todd Claussen. It's a WRTV alert day for us because of the rain that's been falling. And as we get into the afternoon hours, we'll focus on the transition from rain over to snow. Winter storm warnings posted to the north. It includes Lafayette as well as Monticello and Peru, Kokomo, Crawfordsville, Frankfurt under winter weather advisories. As we go forward throughout the day, temperatures will continue to cool and there's going to be a big spread. Heavy rain continues into the afternoon hours to the south where temperatures are in the 40s and 50s, where to the north, the cold air is already coming in by mid afternoon and bringing us over to some sleet and eventually some snow to northern locations. And then eventually, as we work our way into the evening hours, everybody kind of gets a push of some snow moving through on the tail end of the storm system with temperatures and that will be in the 20s. And by what time you wake up tomorrow, we're going to be in the teens. So there will be refreezing that takes place. One to three inches of rain widespread across the area. That's why we have uh, those flood warnings and we've had flash flood warnings earlier in the day and uh, there's going to be river flooding in the days to come. But as far as the snow goes, about two to four inches of snow Lafayette to Logan's Port as we work your way south. I do think we get into a wintry mix in the metro area. There could be a coating of snow mixed with a little bit of ice, which obviously can cause uh, some issues out there, but no significant wintry weather from Indianapolis southward. Now tomorrow we start in the teens. There could be obviously refreezing with uh, temperatures where they where they will be in uh, the teens and there's a lot of moisture obviously on the roadway. So certainly slick spots possible Friday morning, but otherwise lots of sunshine temperatures hovering right around freezing in the afternoon. Saturday's cold at 28, but a big time warm up Sunday, Monday and Tuesday with highs that'll be up into the 50s.